I, I recall as a teenager, I hardly, uh, I could hardly see my own father because by the time I come back from school, he's not there, and by the time I goes to, uh, I go to sleep also, he's still uh, not there. Uh, my mom was uh, was working uh, initially. My mom worked as a maid uh, with an expatriate uh, family, but when we uh, moved out uh, to Bedok North, uh, she was uh, employed as a hospital attendant. Is your wife still working now? Uh, my wife has been a housewife uh, ever since uh, we had our uh, first child. So initially, she only worked uh, part time uh, 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 as a tutor. But after our third child, uh, she stopped uh, working completely. Such a big family, how do you intend to you know, juggle family with politics? Um, I think what is uh, most important is to uh, make use of whatever time that uh, you have. In, in my case, I make the best use of whatever time I have uh, to interact with my uh, children. Uh, I just give you uh, just a simple example. I would uh, make it a point uh, to fetch my children wherever possible and have that quiet time together with them while I'm driving, uh, while I'm driving them uh, back home. Yeah. Uh, I think most important is that uh, before I actually join uh, politics, I've actually uh, pre-entered my family, uh, my wife, my children, to the kind of life that they could be uh, expecting. So uh, all, of, all of my children, we are adjusting to the uh, new uh, to the new life that they are experiencing now but i think overall they are coping very well uh, with the my work commitment as well as my uh, commitment towards the community how did they respond to your decision that you were going to join uh, they are actually quite uh, supportive uh, especially uh, i took the opportunity to explain uh, uh, what is the role of an mp to my children uh, especially uh, my three youngest uh, children. So I use the analogy of a class chairman. Mm -hmm. Now you're appointed as a class chairman and you will really have to take care of, the, of your classmates. Uh, so I just give that kind of uh, analogy. But I think my uh, three other children, uh, they could actually uh, understand uh, perfectly well uh, uh, the kind of work that I would be doing in future if elected. I've, uh, I've only joined NTUC from uh, 7th of March uh, onwards. Uh, Currently, I'm uh, getting to know uh, the work of the union uh, better and they've actually uh, attached me to a particular uh, union. I've uh, gone to uh, uh, Batu, Building, Timber and Construction uh, Union. I, I have to say that uh, uh, it has been quite an eye-opener uh, to see uh, the work done by the uh, union uh, leaders. They are very uh, passionate with uh, what they are doing and I think personally if there is one thing that we could actually improve on uh, in terms of our national education is to highlight uh, the work of the union in the Singapore story and hopefully the work of some of these union leaders are not uh, forgotten. Uh, you said you've been uh, recently only doing grassroots work, so how long have you been doing it and what's your impression been so far? The text that we see in the estate uh, is the result of an enormous amount of quiet work uh, done by the grassroots leaders where they have to listen, explain, meeting objection, as well as solve some of the problems uh, faced by the uh, residents. And, and I recall uh, when I had a personal sharing with Dr. Ahmad Magad, he shared with me that he is very, very inspired by the grassroots leaders and I have no doubt that I would also be inspired as well. It's been only a few weeks on the ground. Uh, how do you make sure you, the residents know you and you know the residents and that you win the support of the residents? Okay. Um, I, uh, formerly I was a cluster uh, superintendent. So uh, some of the schools that I oversee, they are currently in the Pasiris uh, area. So that helps uh, in a sense that uh, some of the parents, they do, they know, they do know me uh, in terms of my uh, previous uh, occupation. Uh, I before I shifted to my current uh, residential address in Simi, I actually was staying in Pasiris uh, area, and I have been working very closely uh, with the RC uh, residents uh, committee and uh, to get to know the to get to know the residents better, uh, house visits uh, within uh, whatever opportunity that I have. Oh, okay. Uh, okay.
I think my strength uh, lies in my experience as an educator for uh, 20 years. Uh, I think if there is something which I can uh, bring forth, really will be uh, from the educational uh, perspective on what could actually we be done to improve the uh, educational uh, uh, performance of the uh, Malay pupils. Personally, I uh, personally I think uh, the the leverage is actually not in terms of the size of the class, but really in terms of the quality of the teachers. Uh, regardless whether you are teaching 10, 20, 30, uh, 40 pupils. If a teacher can actually lead, care and inspire the pupils, uh, uh, even regardless of the number, she or he could make a big difference. Low income group and low income jobs. What do you think are the problems that they face? Um, I think uh, there is a multitude of uh, factors. Uh, at the end of the day, I believe as individual, it is uh, very, very uh, important that they seize uh, the opportunity for them to uh, upgrade their skill so that they could compete uh, better with the other workers. How much What's your biggest uh, regret in life so far? I'm very close to my dad because he always... Nothing yet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.